it's quite amazing to see how passionate a lot of product teams get with the tech stack that they are using. And I get it, I was a developer for 20 years, but as you're managing a software product team, your tech stack is very, very important to make good decisions and that you're aware of the tax that is going to be collected based on those decisions. Just the same way that we validate features, we make sure that we workshop to figure out what features are next, we validate them, we go through design phases, and then we implement. We really need to be doing the same when it comes to our tech stack. Make sure that you have a clear process for your team to be able to decide what gets included in your tech stack and what doesn't. If you're a non-technical member of the team or someone managing a product that is not very strong on the technical side, don't be scared to push back against your technical team to ask them the tough questions. If they're making the right choice, it should be able to stand up to any critique. Secondly, make sure that you're conducting quarterly audits. Take a look at everything that's included in your tech stack. If something hasn't been used or if a feature that is leveraging a certain third-party integration or library isn't being used, hasn't been used for 90 days, cut it out, get rid of it. Also, make sure that you are tracking the real cost of ownership for any frameworks, third-party software that you are using. And that's not just the vendor invoice that they send you every month. How much time does this take my team to maintain this integration? or to keep upgrading this library, or to solve issues in production that is costing me uptime. Lastly, try and have your team work as hard as they can to design with vendor flexibility in mind. If you implement all of these ideas and you keep a tight leash on your tech stack and what gets included in your product, you'll make sure that you have a product that is always gonna be efficient, that is always gonna be able to scale uh, to whatever size or feature set you need it to be able to handle. And that compounding tax will be something that your team and product will never have to feel.